One of the major challenges that was faced, that has been faced, again, very unique, and is has been the issue of securing the right to health of the people in uh, in, in South Syria, because uh, it's the first time in a conflict situation where um, the health sector has and continues to be deliberately attacked as part of a war strategy of the Syrian regime. And uh, from March 2011 to today, they have been the, the uh, they have been corroborated at least five, close to 600 attacks in uh, in uh, uh, 350 separate facilities, with more than 900 health workers killed. And that is a strategy too, and that uh, that explains uh, much why the big drainage of human resources. Uh, the health human resources that left the country because of security reasons and other reasons. Second, explains the big waves of displacement and refugees because that as a strategy, if you uh, finish an area, the stop services in a whole area, uh, uh, a whole province, then people leave because where do I take my children for help? For, for, for health services delivery. So that, that has been a, a, a major, major challenge. I imagine that some of the people that are now taking the course in, in Kalua, those that are listening, has the, the experience of other infections uh, in their field, like Ebola or uh, yeah. H1, or no. the outbreaks. The point with this outbreak, right, is the outbreak itself, constitute another social uh, condition. So yes. it creates a social condition. The other outbreaks comes from social conditionings, whatever is in poverty or uh, under self services is a context or, or war, which create the conditions for the outbreak. But here, the outbreak itself create another social condition, which you have to really tackle from the beginning.